So as I'm thinking about engineering specifically at Remy and what makes us different, the fact we don't have a sales team and that we have the ability to go invest at a very deep level on some of the long-term bets we wanna do, even the short-term bets, we get to really approach every problem with a product engineering and design focused lens. And that's rare. I think what we've done around what I would say is building internal tools with the level of care and craft and people behind it is unnatural. We got to spend a lot more time doing that, putting polish in place, looking at the design, looking at the process, how it should work, where the alternative typically is go use Salesforce, HubSpot, whatever, and hope that that kind of scales with the team managing it themselves, because we can't afford to put the engineering and product and design behind it. So if I'm an engineer, designer, product manager looking at Remy, I think it represents a place where if you care about craft, you can come here, really dig in and work on something where we care about that and it's rewarded and it's part of our strategy. Yeah, we do not have a culture of, if you ship it, I will sell it. That's not how we operate here. You don't have the sales team coming in and saying, if we just had this feature, then I could sell this. And by the way, I probably already sold it. Yeah. So you better get it shipped. <laughs> yeah. That, that just doesn't exist here. The iteration cycle is oftentimes constrained by your ability to get in uh, contact with your customers. And so you'll build something, you'll have an idea, there'll be a debate in a conference room about the direction A or B. You might have to wait a week to get on the phone with enough people to validate something, whereas we can largely get through that in the same day. When every single job we do is worth thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars in a lot of cases, this makes financial sense to go deep on your craft.